Let's take a look at Architect Golf Course. Because there's no other doors that I'm talking about. And on this channel, we really love golf design, so we had to come out here. It's in New Jersey. It's a little bit of a drive, but coming out here and to see each one of the holes, we're going to talk about each one of the golf designers on each one of these holes and maybe even dig into a little bit more on other videos. So if you like this type of stuff, subscribe down below for more of the Parfessor and educational public golf courses in your neighborhood. Each one of the holes represent a different golf designer. So it's a course I've been wanting to get over for quite some time, a Stephen K designed one. I actually, I'm starting to really like a Stephen K designed course. And you can tell he really highlighted golf history with this course, so we're happy to be out here. Originally built in 2001 by Stephen K, this course is designed for golf designers. Really, each one of the holes represents a famous golf designer in history. And we're starting off with the old fashioned father of golf here. All right, we're moving into the first hole here. The first hole here is based after Thomas Morness, who's the godfather of golf design. And these are pot bunkers, which are kind of an old fashioned type golf course feel. I gotta get there, God. The next hole here, we have number two is our first par three. We got three bunkers right up there and it does drop off. And he was known for these type of holes. So let's just get one up there. I got a seven. These greens are nice though. They do roll nice. The next golf designer is Hugh Wilson, who's built a ton of golf in the Philadelphia area. We played a lot of his courses. That's a nice par five though. All right, let's get out of this. The purpose of this hole is really the gamble if you want to go for it with driver. Where are you? It looks like everything wants a slow break in a hole. There it is. Come on. Come on. And we got Walter Travis here on number five. And he was known for his heavy bunker design. You could see you got to get over on some of these bunkers. But the course is in such great shape. It's almost a private course. The famous golf designers that helped build Pine Valley, the number one golf course in the world year in and year out outside of New Jersey. It's got a Pine Valley type feel to it, really dropping off. Feels like you're in the Pine Barrens out here. And we're at A.W. Tittinglass, my favorite golf designer, at least currently, because I got a hole in one at one of his courses. But his style is really known for the wide open fairways. You can see right here, it's real tight and it opens up for that second shot. And Tittinglass took a lot of chances in golf design. He was one of the first ones to have an island green part three, which is interesting. That's outside Philadelphia. There we have a Seth Raynor course, and he's got those big tee boxes that we were just talking about, a part three. It might be good. The design that he's known for is the hilly terrain, kind of steep cliffs. You could see right off when we were teeing up, there ain't much to miss from the back. It drops right off. You gotta just get one up. There. Now I grew up playing Donald Ross courses outside of Atlantic City, you have Seaview Country Club. I guess more of a link style from my understanding. There we go. Wow, I like this hole. If you like California golf, then George Thomas Jr. is gonna be the golf designer for your Riviera. It's a nice hole. Oh, this hole got me. Yeah, I had a good drive, but then I couldn't find it. Now we're here with the William Finn part five, starting us off on number 11. You can see, you can't see anything off of that first shot. I believe it might be to the left, might be to the right. You don't know. Now William Flynn actually disliked artificial golf, opposite of a titting last type golf designer. He really focused on what was there at the terrain and worked around it. There he is. Robert Trent Jones, the finishing hole here. Robert Trent Jones, finishing hole. Yes. Oh, Robert. He came, he saw, and I'm a big fan of him. RIP. You know, he died building this course, believe it or not. 
Yeah, he died in 2020 and the course was finished in 2021. So this last hole was really a, a signature hole. They wanted, not only was it the hardest hole to finish on,